Hi, it's Tybug, and I'm back with another spooky video, and I'm here with Scully, and my Mika girl's back there, so hopefully she doesn't make any noise, and as you can tell, my voice is kind of gone. Right now I'm in a haunted house, and I've spent the last four nights from 6 to 10 p.m. screaming my guts off because I get sawed in half, so that's fun. I just sprayed a kind of like a sore throat thing, so now my throat is numb, so it shouldn't bother me, but my voice is just going to sound like this. Sorry about it. So today we are going to be doing a little makeup look, and it's Fortnite. It's Fable, the new skin from this season. This is my costume. I'm a homeless little maniac. They look just like everyone else. So I've been playing Fortnite for two seasons now. This is my only this is only my second season playing, so I'm not good by any means. I really suck. <laughs> That's just how it is. I mean, when you start a new game, you're not gonna be good at it. If you were, that would be really impressive. And this is my first time buying the battle pass, and I bought the battle pass specifically for this skin because I think she is so freaking cute and bad A. And since it's Halloween season, I thought it'd be really cool to do a makeup look for it because this is such a cool take on like the Little Red Riding Hood kind of look. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna start off with doing is just put on a base. If your base is nothing, awesome. If your base is just moisturizer, awesome. If your base is the whole nine yards, foundation, concealer, what else do you put on your face? <laughs> That's awesome too. But I'm leaving my eyebrows undone right now and my mascara off, so just like your face base. Okay, so the first step is kind of going to be outlining the eye look. So it's all red and I got some Halloween kind of face paint because I don't think it'll show up as well if you just use eyeshadow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. brush, I just got an eyeliner brush which is only $1 at Target because I'll kind of be wrecking this brush up with this paint but it should be fine once I clean it off. And it's kind of just like a stiff brush, a flat square brush. And I'm going to get this wet and dip into the red on this palette. And I have a towel next to me so I can wipe off on there and I also have my mirror right here so that's where I'll be looking. So I have my picture of Fable right to the side here. And from what I can tell, it looks like it goes right underneath her eyebrow, it goes down into the corner of her eye, and then up along the eyelid, and then down along the top part of the cheekbone. And it looks like it extends into her temple area. So we're just gonna try that. First I'm just gonna underline my eyebrow. And then you're gonna go on the contour of your nose. And it's gonna go right on top of the cheek. Uh, depending on what paint you use, you want to be careful getting close to your eyes, so that's why we're going to be using a combination of the paint and eyeshadow. I feel like it may be a little bit thicker. And I'm just following kind of like the arch of my brow and then the, um, my cheekbone. Now I'm just filling it in so it has a base. So as close 
On my eyelid, I'm just going to the top of my eye socket. So now with a, let's see what brush should I use. I'm going to be using another e.l.f. brush. It's just an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to go in with my Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. And I think I'm gonna go in with the color He Devil. And I'm just gonna cover my lid. And you wanna fill in any of the blank spots you left. What the? Huh. This doesn't mix well with the paint, I can tell now. Cause it kinda makes it look brownish. Odd. So maybe I need to... Let me think. I have a blush, just a really red blush, and I'm gonna try and go over the red so it kind of sets it. There we go. And I'm just patting that on over it. And this will get us ready for the next step when we get to the cheek. This blush I'm using is Jordana. I just got it from my local drugstore. I'm just going over everything I painted. Just to kind of set it. Oh, by the way, before I did this, I had an eyeshadow primer on. I forgot to mention that. It's just the e.l.f. e.l.f. Sheer. And I'm just patting this on to my eyelid. Everywhere I have the paint and in the corner and along the edges. Okay, so that's your base. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. crease brush. All my brushes are e.l.f. right now. And I'm gonna go in to my Urban Decay Heat Palette. Is this Urban Decay? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Urban Decay Heat Palette in En Fuego. And I'm just gonna go into my um, outer corner right now to kind of deepen it. And I'm gonna push that into my crease. What color was I used? En Fuego? I'm going back in with En Fuego. Okay, so that kind of deepened that out. So then I'm gonna go back in with my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna spray it. Where am I gonna spray it? I'll spray it over here. Actually, no. First, I'm gonna tap it into Dirty Talk and back in my Naked Heat palette. I'm gonna get some of that on. I'm gonna spray it. I'm going to mix, miss my brush, and I'm going to pat that into, oops, sorry, I just apologized to my eyeshadow, and I'm going <laughs> to pat that into the inner corner. Get a little sparkle. And then over that, I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Super, whoa, Super Shock Shadow in Arrow. And using the same brush, this is a really soft eyeshadow. I'm just gonna pat more in the center 
to kind of enhance that. Bam. And then I'm just wiping it back off on a paper towel so I can use this brush again because I don't have a lot of brushes. Right now I'm using a lot of my brushes for the haunted house because that makeup is kind of in depth. So I don't really have an option to not use it. So then now looking at Fable, she kind of has, this is smudged out a bit, kind of rough. So I'm going to go back in with more brushes. I'm going to go into, use my e.l.f. crease brush, and then I'm going to go back into my Jordana blush and just kind of brush it out a bit. And you can use your finger too to just kind of smear it out so it's not as neat. If you want it to look more um, part of what she already had, you can use this and kind of um, the eyeliner flat brush and just get a little bit of the paint on and kind of scratch it out. And then on top of that, you're going to want to go in with your eyeshadow brush, any eyeshadow brush, and just put the blush on top of it to matte it. Okay, so that's that. Looking at this, she has really thick eyelashes that obviously I don't have. So I'm going to use my Master Ka Kajal, I can't say it, Kajal. It's just a really thick crayon, eye crayon by Maybelline. And I'm gonna go, I've never used this before. This may be a mistake. I'm gonna go on the top, right along my eyelash to kind of define it a little bit more. And then you go along the bottom as well. Try not to stab yourself in the eye. And I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Black. Single pant. Oh, I just got that everywhere. I'm gonna go kind of on top of that and kind of smudge it out a bit. I'm crying. That side is not done yet. Then I'm gonna take my eyebrow, my Essence Make Me Brow and I'm gonna brush up through my brow. And this seems kinda sharp to me, so I'm just gonna use my crease brush and kinda soften it up a little bit. Just so it blends a bit better. One thing I think that's really toxic about the gaming community is just whenever someone starts off with a game, it's this whole notion of noob. And you're always calling someone a noob. You mess up, ah, you're a noob. And like, it's so easy to call someone that and it discourages them from playing, honestly. Because like, I don't wanna play if people are gonna keep making fun of me. That's not very fun and like, then you'll just always stay a noob. If people were more encouraging, I think a lot more people would stick with games. Just saying. Little knowledge for ya. I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Golden Flower Crown. Just opened it. This is my first time using this. And so this is kind of where your highlighter goes. I'm just kind of going to go all around it and just kind of blend it into the red. Oh yeah, and that did a good job of kind of smearing it out. And then while I'm here, I'll just do the bridge of my nose. And then right underneath your brow. 
And that's that side. So I'll be right back. I'll do the other side and then we can finish this off. Now that this eye is done, I'm going to go back in with my highlighter and I'm going to get the high points of my forehead just so I can make my forehead look a little bit smaller and cuter. <laughs> then I'm going to go on my cupid's bow. Did I get my cupid's bow at all? And just a little bit on the chin. Just so we're all sparkly. The eyes are all done. Oh wait, no they're not. I didn't even put on mascara. Ashamed. Shameful. Now the eyes are all done. Now, there's so many things surrounding me that I'm getting overwhelmed. Now, we are going to go in with our Vivid Matte Liquid by Maybelline red lipstick. And she has some very nice red lips. Now to finish it all off, you're gonna take your setting spray. I'm using my NYX Dewy Finish. I'm gonna take off my Happy Halloween headband so I don't get that all finished up. If you open your eyes too early and get setting spray in your eyes, it's okay. Cause I do that all the time. Okay, and that's Fable. Let me just put on my little red rat and hood, which is actually a rain jacket. My hair isn't long enough for this. 
and if you want to make it more realistic just get some red extensions and braid that into your hair I just did a basic um, French braid because normal braids would look too plain and yeah that's really it it's actually fairly easy and I'm actually kind of proud of it I did really well Yay! so if you guys like the video subscribe for more spooky season is my favorite season so we're gonna have a lot more fun stuff coming up um don't ask to play Fortnite with me because I'm not very good and we'll just all die. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Come back next week, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!